Hello and welcome. This is Rufa Mogger, my friends. Today I'm here to talk to you about Double Dragon Gaiden. You know Double Dragon, right? You know Bimmy and Jimmy. So Double Dragon Gaiden did come out last year, although as of the other day, it did come out with a whole slew of free DLC. And I was approached by the company, this is a sponsored video, just FYI, and thank you very much for the sponsorship. I was approached by the company, like, hey, would I like to make a sponsored video? And I'm like, well, you know, it's not normally the genre I do stuff in, right? I make fighting game content. And then I was shown that there is versus mode. So the free DLC comes with uh, online co-op play, which is great. Double Dragon's pretty good for the co-op, right? Survival mode, new characters, and all that kind of stuff. But the versus mode is what really stuck out to me. So compared to some of my other fighting game YouTuber compatriots, I'm a little bit older than some of them. And uh, I was around in the 80s and Double Dragon, specifically Mode B is what it was called. Double Dragon Mode B for the NES. I played the holy hell out of that. I think I got it in like 1988 or something. And when we got it, like we played Double Dragon. We all knew Double Dragon from the arcades. But when we got the NES version, we played Mode B and it was a versus game, right? And this is years before Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 1 was out, but well, frankly, Street Fighter 1 sucked. There was a reason why, you know, it didn't take off the Street Fighter 2. But anyways, so Double Dragon, like its effective versus mode was, you know, my first fighting game experience, if you want to call it that way. All the kids on the block, we always played it like pretty much every day after school. We'd always go nuts on each other. It's probably where I learned my love of big characters thinking back as I only played a Bobo. A Bobo was my guy. And now fast forward to Double Dragon Gaiden and the free DLC update. And here I am again playing Double Dragon versus mode with a Bobo. And a Bobo looks amazing in this game, by the way. Like, he's just gigantic. There's a lot of characters, a lot more than just the six you could play as back in the NES back in the day. Uh, you know, you have Billy, you have Jimmy, you have uh, all the associated characters. Like, even Marion is playable in uh, both Versus and in the main campaign. And actually, you can play everyone in the main campaign. Uh, you can unlock basically every enemy type. And Marion just uh, shoots you with a gun. Marion's the girlfriend that gets punched in the stomach at the beginning of the first Double Dragon. So uh, she's starting to take that self-defense pretty seriously as uh, she can just blow you up with uh, her gun. She has rockets. She has landmines. Uh, she's pretty deadly. She's playing for keeps this time around. And that's sort of what's fun about this is all the characters have lots of special moves. Like this is not just the simple press B and A and that's it, right? Uh, everyone has multiple moves. There's multiple properties like a Bobo himself has super armor on his run. As you can see, here's an example. And not only is there things like super armor, there's also armor breaking moves as well. So there's a lot of fighting game logic here. There's more than just the basic smash button. Multiple characters, well, they all have their own unique special moves. Everyone just kind of has a lot of unique flavor as well. Like a Bobo has much bigger grabs than the average character, which you would expect. He's a big boy. Uh, he even has a spinning pile driver as one of his specials here. You can see I launch him up, then cancel into spinning pile driver and knock the enemy down, right? Uh, so, hey, Fatal Fury City of the Wolves, you already lost out. Uh, Double Dragon Guy Dan has specials in the specials before you do. Versus is also a tag mode. And come tag mode, also you have combo breakers where you can hard break a combo with a tag and then use that to punish people, which uh, in my play experience can make things kind of crazy. The only thing you need for a tag breaker is to have a full special bar, that's it. And you can knock people out of combos, you can knock them out of a combo into your own combo, uh, considering uh, specials go into other specials in this game, as long as your meter is flashing blue and you have enough uh, special resource to do so. Like things get pretty crazy. Like this is a successor to a mode that was basically just a giant mash fest back in like the NES days. I'm not here to tell you this is like the most complex mode of all time. You know, it's not as complex as say a traditional modern fighting game, but there's some stuff here. For a beat em up game that has versus added as a completely free DLC, I think that's a pretty good deal. There's actually quite a few characters to pick from. Things like stages matter as well. Uh, there is stage hazards, like this particular stage here, which uh, may look a little familiar for Double Dragon fan, right? Uh, this stage here has cars coming. It'll warn you, but uh, if you don't pay attention, you're going to get run over by the cars. Another stage, uh, the Industrial Zone stage, just has a giant hole in the middle, and you better believe you can fall right through. So if you're like a 
scared of, oh yeah, that, that was a great move by me, right? If you're scared of like Soul Calibur and Virtual Fighter Ringouts, this stage might be a little bit much for you, right? Because throwing the opponent into the hole is a big part of the game plan here. One wrong move and you can be spinning pile driver right to hell, as it were, right? So it's really cool. Like there's some stuff here. A bad jump in the fighting game? Well, hey, there's bad jump ins here too. Ever do a bad burst in Guilty Gear? Well, you can better believe uh, there's some bad bursts here as well. Zangief players, ever miss your level one super against a jump in? Hey, well, you know the feeling. Just a lot of fighting game logic can be applied here. Like right here, uh, I do a bad tag out. I get hit by the stage hazard and my uh, tag partner is still in the stage, right? So I'm basically getting like happy birthday here. And due to the combination of the factors, I lost my character, right? Like that kind of stuff matters. So this is basically like a really roundabout way of saying like, I'm very impressed with the versus mode. It's once again, not a full fledged fighter, but there's certainly enough fighting game stuff here for once again, what is nominally just a double dragon, just a beat em up, right? And it's a very good beat em up. I had a lot of fun. I went through with the campaign, which is a very different. It's almost like a rogue like in a way. There's four various gangs across the city and you attack them in any order you want. And every time you beat one, the other gangs get stronger and stronger and stronger. There's better enemies. There's even more stages per gang. Every time you go through a full stage or a sub stage, you get more money, which you can spend on randomized abilities. They could be like more health, more damage on certain specials, a lot of different variables. And these sort of like persist with you throughout the duration of the campaign. Once again, somewhat roguelikey, right? Uh, by the end, specifically, my Marion was, uh, I would say, just busted. It got to the point where I knew I couldn't lose anymore because her guns, landmines, and rocket launchers were just doing too much damage. But there also is like a whole customizable difficulty curve as well for those that are interested in that kind of challenge. Like, far be it for me to make a tier list, but both in the single player and in versus, uh, Marion feels pretty dang strong is what I'll say. So if you're looking for an easier experience, maybe try her out. But yeah, that's kind of the core gameplay loop is you play the game, you unlock tokens. When you get tokens, you can use it to unlock characters like a Bobo. And all the characters are usable in single player, in co-op, in versus, in survival, in like every mode. But yeah, I'll just say I was just very, very pleasantly surprised. The versus mode, I loved that stuff as a kid. It was just a mashing mess though. Like the call for what it is. Obviously there's no real competitive value to the 1987 versus mode of Double Dragon, but I had a lot of fun with it. And it was a good lead into, you know, proper fighting games, if you will, once I got a little bit older. And then come this newer version of Double Dragon, which is a fine Double Dragon in and of itself. And then the versus mode here, and it's got tons of depth. Like uh, all the various upgrades, the roguelike upgrades you get, in the single player mode, you can use them here in versus. You just have like, you know, a point buy system for lack of a more elegant term. It's a tag game with tag mechanics. Also, it has the original Double Dragon NES stage, which I'm a very, very big fan of, I'll just say. Characters have a wide variety of moves and special moves. There's a combo system, there's a chain system, there's combo breakers. Uh, this is not really a fighting game where you can block because it is double dragon, right? Uh, jumping is the defensive mechanic as uh, as I was told. The startups to jump basically have invincibility. But basically, like if you're looking just for a mode to have fun, mess around, like the game is currently on sale on Steam and I'll put a link to the Steam page in the video description if you wanna check that out. And it's on about just every system possible, PS4, PS5, Switch, all the Xboxes, PC, right? So it's around, right? You, the game won't be hard to find. Want that fun single player or co-op beat em up experience. It's very good, very proficient at that. And if you're looking for, you know, a different kind of fighting game experience, maybe not the most hardcore, it's not exactly Tekken or Street Fighter or whatever, but something more in depth than you would certainly think given the circumstances, I would absolutely recommend this. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the nostalgia part hits me pretty hard, right? Uh, here we have a Bobo, the guy I played back in 1988, and here he is again, and he's everything I want in a character. He's got the super armor, he's got the spinning pile driver. These are things I'm pretty big fans of, so it, hit, it tickled all the right spots, right? It's just legitimately fun for what it is, so if uh, any of this sounds appealing to you, hey, maybe check it out. And other than that, that's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Double Dragon Guide In.
Love me.